Welcome to this screencast tutorial for Pentucket Regional School District teachers on how to use Soundation.com, particularly for creating podcasts in your classroom. First step in the Google Chrome browser, I'm going to go to Soundation.com. That's S O U N D A T I O N.com. And you're going to go and log in on the top right. I will give you a username and password. Uh, we do have a paid account that you can use this year. So just send me an email and I will give that to you because you do want to use the paid account. Then I'm going to go to launch the studio. All right, I'm going to briefly des describe to you what this screen is. Each of these audio channels has its own set of squares. See, in rectangles. And, um, so audio channel one, I'm going to click here. So everything that happens in this area is for audio channel one everything that happens over here audio channel two on the right hand side of the screen we have uh, three icons on the top library premium sounds and project we're gonna click on library this is all the free sounds that we can use we don't really own too many premium sounds just uh, the free ones so each of these folders contains little snippets of music called loops so I'm gonna go to extra diverse I'm gonna double click and now we have a whole bunch of loops. The first time you have students use this, you may want to give them ample amount of time to actually go through and listen to the majority of loops. After they've used the program for a while, they'll become more accustomed to what's available, so you won't have to give as much time. But it is great to give them that few minutes just to try things out. So if I want to hear what something sounds like, I'm just going to double click. And it'll play a few seconds. Something that's good to know, um, based on how fast or slow the school server is working, you may double click on something and it might take a few seconds before it starts playing. So you do want to give it um, a little leeway and time for that to happen. Ooh, I really like that sound. So I decided I'm going to use this for my podcast. I want to introduce the podcast with this song. So I'm going to click once and I'm going to hold it down, holding the mouse down. And I'm going to drag it up to audio channel one right here in the beginning. And I, I could just click once and move it left and right, just like that. I want to make it longer, so I'm going to go to the top right of the loop, and I'm going to click and drag. All right. To play it, up here, we call this the ruler. So I'm just going to click once, and that's the ruler. Now, uh, what I just did, that yellow mark that you see, that's if you're creating like a ringtone, and that automatically uh, it creates a repeating pattern. We don't want that. So I'm going to go down to the right and hit uh, this button. So now that's gone, which is good. Okay, so I want to hear what it sounds like. So I'm going to move the ruler. I'm just going to click and move it to the beginning. And I'm going to hit play. You can also hit the rewind button. That will also do it. Play buttons on the bottom. To make it stop, I hit play again. Uh, another cool thing to know is instead of using the cursor, I can use the space bar and the keyboard to play and stop. I'll click again on the space bar and it stops it. Uh, one of the things I want to think about here when I'm making the podcast introduction is I want the music to get softer before I introduce with my voice. So I'm going to go to where it says display off and change that to volume. A new line has appeared. Do you see this long line? I'm going to click one time on the line over here and one time at the end. And this is creating access points. And now I'm just going to drag this one down I click and I drag and this shows you the volume getting softer I'm gonna see what it sounds like moving the ruler hit play very cool I like it all right now I want to add some drums to this let's see what do we got do we have bongos bongos all right, so I'm going to click and drag. I'm going to put this in audio channel 2. The file 120 bongos.wave is not in the same tempo as your song. That means the speed. Would you like to time stretch or pitch the file to fit? I'm going to say time stretch. So now we'll be in the same tempo as audio channel 1. So let's see what it sounds like. Yeah, it sounds a little funky. I don't know if I like it. 
yeah it's not really lining up to my taste so I'm actually just gonna click once and you see on the loop you'll see the blue rectangle and I'm gonna hit the delete button let's try the Kungus let's try that oh let's just, let's do pitch let's see what happens this time instead of doing the stretch Wow yeah I like that some loops you know they line up some others uh, others don't rather so you just want to find something that works for you I'm gonna turn the volume down though access point drag it to the left and just bring it down a little and actually I want it to creep in so I'm gonna drag it down from the beginning so it starts from nothing on the bongos or kungas all right let's hear it Turn it up a little bit. Excellent. Now I want to add my voice. So I'm going to click on the ruler where I want to start recording. The first time that you record on Mixcraft, it might ask you for permission to uh, use the microphone or video camera. So you're going to select yes. A box will appear either right here in the middle of the screen or on top. And a lot of times based on the browser you're using, you might not see the one on the top. So you're wondering why is my microphone not working and it drives you crazy. So just know, check the top and it's going to ask sometimes there if um, there's permission to use the microphone. You'll find that with any online cloud-based program that's going to use the microphone or video camera, they have to ask for your permission um, to use those devices. So the, be on the lookout for those and it's not always located in the same spot. So that's good to know just in life. Okay, so I'm clicking on the ruler and now I'm going to hit the, rec well actually I'm going to go to audio channel 3. So I'm clicking once there so the software knows this is where I want to record. And on the bottom of the screen next to the play button is this circle button and that's the record. When I click on it, it will turn red. I'm going to wait a couple of seconds before I actually start speaking after I hit record and you'll probably notice too that um, it might ask permission again to use the microphone which should only happen one or two times total each time that you log in. It is a bit annoying but it's worth it. So I'm going to hit the record button, wait a couple of seconds and then begin speaking. And You'll notice the record button again will turn red. See there it is. So I'm going to allow them to use the camera. This is Mr. Beatrice with the public speaking course at Pentucket Regional High School. Today's podcast is about homework. We are going to be asking students in the hallways, do they think that we assign too much homework, just the right amount, or not enough? Additionally, we'll be asking teachers and administrators their viewpoint on this subject. Okay, so now I'm going to click the record button on the bottom. I can also use the space bar and that will stop the recording. And now you can see my voice. So now I want to see what it sounds like. I'm going to hit the ruler over here, hit the space bar. This is Mr. Beatrice with the public speaking course at Pentucket Regional High School. Today's podcast is about okay. homework. We are going to be asking students in the hallways. Now you notice I, I paused a little right there and I think that's because I want to put a little music in between. So now I'm going to show you another important concept and that is splitting the clip. Okay, so I'm going to click in the center of the loop and notice now we have the blue rectangle around the loop. That means that the software knows that this is the loop we, we want to manipulate. And I'm going to select where I want to cut it in half. So I'm going to put the ruler right here. We are going to be asking. To okay, yeah, so that's where I stopped. So I'm going to put the ruler right, right here. I'm going to go to the top left of the screen and I'm going to go in cut mode and I'm going to use the scissors. And I'm going to come over here to the ruler. And it was about right there. I'm going to click once. Done. I just split the loop into two. I'm going to go back up here to the top left. And I'm going to leave the cut mode by clicking on the cursor mode. Now, if I drag over here, you can drag the, the screen over. I'm going to drag, click once, drag the one over here to the right. And I'm going to put a little bit of music in between. The file 120 beat trickle dot wave is not in the same tempo as your song. Would you like to time stretch or pitch the file to fit? So we've gone through this before. Um, I'm going to say pitch. Actually, 
No, I'm going to say no. I'm not matching up with any other loop. I, I like it the way it is. All right, so I just moved this one over so it should start as this one is ending. And again, I want to change the volume. So I'm going to go vo display off instead of that. I'm going to select volume, create my access points, and lower the volume. All right, let's see what it sounds like. Podcast is about homework. We are going to be asking students in the hallways, do they think that we assign too much homework, just the right amount, or not enough? Additionally, we will be asking teachers and administrators their viewpoint on this subject. Okay, so now I'm going to click the record button. On the... Oh, so that got a little bit of my screencast recording in there, so I, I want this gone. So again, just to review how to delete something, or actually we're going to... Uh, split the clip and then we're going to delete it. So I'm putting the ruler where I want to split it. You can check it by hitting the play button if you need to. Go to the scissors, top left, and I'm going to cut it. Just click once. Go back to the cursor mode. And I'm going to click the... Now this is important. The software now wants to know what part of the loop or which loop I want to manipulate. So I'm going to click on the one on the right so it turns blue around it. And I'm going to hit the delete button. And it's gone. Let's say I deleted it by mistake. Students will do that especially. You just go edit, undo, and it will reappear. But I do want it gone. Okay, so let's say you have the kids come on to the computer and they record their voices and they each take turns answering questions. So you might have a list of questions in front of the computer and you might show them how to hit the record button, etc. Now you're ready to put um, some music at the end. You could do that. Let's say I'm going to throw some of this in here okay so now you want to you want to make it into an actual sound file that you could play on your uh, like iPod device or you could throw up on a website you could email out the parents you could use it as evidence for the teacher evaluation um, so all these great things that you can do but you need it as an actual file that you can play on a mp3 player uh, or music device so I'm gonna go to file First, I'm going to save it. That's my first step. So I'm going to say Mr. B's podcast. And I'm going to hit save. OK, so it's saving to my account. It's not saving to your desktop or anything to your computer. It's saved on the cloud. So that means when you log in using the username and password that I give to you, it should show up um, under when you go to file and open. Let's see. And there it is. If I go down, there it is. And there's a date on it. And timestamp. So that's pretty cool. Um, but I'm going to X out of that. Okay. But now I want to actually export it out into something that I can play on my iPod. So I'm going to go file and export.wave. Wave is a certain type of audio file. and it's processing. Your WAV file is now ready to be saved. I'm going to hit save and now I can select where I want to save it. I'm going to save it to the desktop. I'm going to put Mr. B's podcast. This is a sound type. It's a WAV sound. I'm going to hit save. And there it is. So now if I go to my desktop, I can click on the file Mr. B's podcast. And there it is. If you have any questions, please send me an email. And thank you for taking the time to learn about podcasts using soundation.com.